What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to tap in and see what is going on with your What's the Tea reading, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's get you a Know Yourself Tarot card. What's going on with Scorpios? What's the energy for Scorpio for this What's the Tea reading, please, Spirit? What's the energy for Scorpio? Whoa. Inner Child. Okay. Number 16. Inner child. So nurturing your inner child, healing your inner child here. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, healing. So you need to uh, focus on healing your inner child. Okay, these are like childhood wounds. If this isn't you, then this is someone that's in your energy. They need to focus on healing. Okay, the inner child could be like abandonment issues, you know, trust issues, loneliness. Okay, the uh, codependency, that type of energy. Somebody needs to heal. All right, give me another one. For my Scorpios, or this could be you. What's going on with my Scorpios for this West the Tea reading? What is going on with my Scorpios for this West the Tea reading, please? What's going on with Scorpios? Ooh. All right, you got number 22. Twos represent balance, okay? It's also like choice as well. Library, take control of your own narrative, okay? Here we go. Let's read this one off. Let's see. It says, someone else is trying to call the shots in your life. They think they can waltz in and control your every move. And you need to say no to their manipulation. It might seem tempting to relinquish control. But if you give someone else power over your narrative, chaos will ensue. And it will be all in their favor, not yours. The stories inside of you make you a library on the verge of bursting. But only if you're the one to pick up the pen. Scorpio. This is why, see, this is why it's important to heal, okay? This is why it's important to heal because if you get into a relationship that's codependent, based off of codependency, stuff like that, you start depending on that person. And you feel like you need that person in order to feel happy. And what you don't realize is the reason why you're codependent is because it has to do something with your inner child. Maybe you maybe you were abandoned when you were younger or maybe, um, and y'all, I'm telling y'all this because of experience. Like as a child, like I dealt with abandonment issues like uh, my mom and dad separated. OK, they separated, went their separate ways. I lived with my dad. And my dad was never home. This man was gone, like gone like the wind. OK, <laughs> he was that dad that wherever he laid his hat was his home. OK, I love him to death. That's my daddy. I love him. I love him. And I love every inch of him. And. But like, you know, as a child, that man, you know, he was. He didn't know what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? He didn't, he didn't know how to raise a boy and a girl by himself. He was, you know, he was growing as we were growing as well. So as a child, I was at home a lot by myself and it was lonely. It was dark. Like, and I always felt abandoned. I always felt alone. And so growing up, that's what, like, I was searching for somebody that could be there for me. And so like, I dealt with codependency issues. I depended on people. Because it was like, well, you know, I'm going to hold on tight to them. I'm going to, they can't leave because without them there, I, I don't feel whole. I feel incomplete. And that led me to maybe <laughs> being smacked in the face because it was like, uh-uh. Uh, I don't love you like that. Like, <laughs> you're crazy. Like, that, it's that type of energy. But it's like, once you start to realize that, you start to take your power back. And that's the thing. Then you, like, now, okay, now that I went through that situation with my ex, you know what I'm saying? Uh, now, baby, me being alone ain't nothing. I want my alone time. I want to be alone. Okay. I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> don't bother me. I have a boyfriend and I love him very much. Okay. But baby, when I don't want to be bothered, don't bother me. <laughs> okay. That's the type of energy it is. Okay. So let's see. Let's dig in and see what it is. That's why it's so important to heal, y'all. It is so important to heal so that you can take control of your own narrative. What 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 do you want in your life? You know what I'm saying? What type of love do you want? Do you want that romantic love? Do you want that I can go out with you love? Do you want that, hey, I need my space, you need your space type of love? You know what I'm saying? So let's see. What's going on here with Scorpio? And y'all, this could be anybody that's in your energy. Oh, let me say this too. Y'all, if y'all not into curse words and things like that, please click off because these cards have curse words in them as well as my mouth will have curse words coming out of it, okay? Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, also, these energies that I'm pulling, this could be your energy or this could be people that are in your energy that's attached to you, okay? 
So let's see what's coming in for Scorpio with this What's the Tea reading. Why does Scorpio need to dirt digging? Looking for dirt on you or vice versa. Bad karma. <laughs> what's going on with Scorpio? You got dirt digging, bad karma. So somebody's trying to find out, find out if you're going through shit. Somebody's stuck in their head about you, Scorpios. Whoever this person is, they've been very in and out with you here. Some of you, this person is actually in jail, okay? Because it's incarcerated, locked up, in and out type of energy. Whoever it is, they're very obsessive. Like, they're trying to keep tabs on you. They're trying to find out what's going on with you here. They're digging dirt up on you. They're like, where is Scorpio? Yeah, let me find out who is Scorpio. Background check. Let me check out their Facebook. Let me check out their Instagram. Like, they're looking around for you here. This person may be trying to figure out if you're having some type of bad karma because you got bad karma here and you got the travel card. Some of you um, might have distanced yourself from this person with this travel card. Looking, I told you, they looking you up. Look, looking you up. They want a bad habits. Whoever this person is, they got some bad habits. They're dealing with some bad habits. Or this could be you, Scorpio. You could be on that stuff, you know. If it's not you, it's your person. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, I'm not trying to point no fingers. But please flip the rose if you need to. But I'm reading for Scorpio side. So. Let's see. Okay, deck of cards. What is travel card though? What is, somebody wants to come towards you. That's what that is. Somebody wants to come towards you and meet you. I just looked on that card. It's a, it's a man and a woman there. Somebody wants to come towards you and meet you. Want to see you. Why? What's going on with Scorpio? Because <laughs> they want you back. Want you back. They want you back. Somebody, yeah, somebody wants to come towards you and see you. They've been stalking you. They've been looking you up here. They've been seeing you've been doing good. They obviously this person may be getting some bad karma because they're trying to find out if you getting karma. They probably over there getting their ass handed to them, and they like, well, if I'm getting my ass handed to me, then what's going on with Scorpio? <laughs> Give me one on the bad karma. What's the bad karma about? What's the bad karma about? Kissing ass. I'm telling you, this person is going through some bad karma, and they realize I gotta make it up to Scorpio lonely now this person could be dealing with inner child uh wounds as well they could be the one that's needing the healing here but somebody's wanting to come kiss on your ass and tell you they sorry because they car karma tearing them up <laughs> car and i don't mean to laugh but karma karma lighting them up to the point they want to come they want to bring you a bouquet of flowers they want to say scorpio i'm sorry for whatever i did to you i'm sorry please forgive me because <laughs> baby karma eat me up <laughs> what's going on with scorpio boss daddy so some of you this person sees you doing your thing like bossing up okay and your big dick energy you know what i'm saying and for a lot of you that's what you're doing that's why to take control of your own narrative is there you're in your big dick energy whether you want male or female okay you in this boss energy this boss status like nah i'm i'm over here calling the shots that's what i'm doing fake accounts is here somebody could be watching you from a fake account or somebody has a fake account here who is that scorpio is that you <laughs> Facts. Okay, so somebody could be having a fake account and then like putting lies up online here, like making shit up. Dust it off, but you're not worried. You're dusting it off. You you like oh, that's petty. I don't care. I'm not worried about that. I got I got big dick energy over here. I don't care. Incarcerated. I'm telling you, somebody's stuck in their head. Somebody is in like mental confinement here. Bankrupt. They could be having like problems here, crying over you, like uh, financial problems here. Oh, hey, what's going on with this person? Or they just feel robbed of you, divination, abuser. They could be getting, like, readings on you, like, finding out different readings about you here. Obsessive. Whoever it is, they're very obsessed with you, Scorpio. This could be a karmic or possessive type of lover here. This could have been a very toxic type of person that was around you at one point here. But they're looking you up. They're trying to find out what the heck you got going on because they can't stop thinking about you here. This person, you may not even be, like, worried about them. Yeah, uninterested here. You may not even be interested in this person. And this is why they looking you up. Because they, they got to find what you're doing. But you over there moving in silence. So even, even if they wanted to know exactly what you're doing, they don't know. Bad habits. This person got some bad habits. Drug addictions. Toxicities. This person could be surrounded by toxic people in their life here. Reflecting here. This person may be reflecting on that. How toxic they were to you. Or how bad they were to you here. The reason why you're no longer interested in them. What else is going on for Scorpio? Threatened. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, they threatened by you. They're intimidated by you. 
Something about you bothers them. Extra trigger. And ain't shit. Because they feel like they're not shit. Like you trigger them. You trigger something about them. Like you in this big dig energy, right? So you trigger something in them that makes them feel like they're not anything. Like they feel worthless compared to you. That's how intimidated they are. They feel worthless compared to you. Yeah, look. I was about to shuffle the cards. Queen rising. Because you in this queen energy. You in the spotlight. Some of you are in the spotlight. Some of you are stepping in your power here. Okay, some of you are on the rise, making a come up where there's like a business or some, some type of social media here. But you make them feel this small. Dang. Okay, what's going on with Scorpio? That's, that's kind of sad here, but it's because you're like, hold the fuck up. So this person, because remember what that take control of your own narrative was about. It was about somebody trying to come in and manipulate you. So is somebody trying to come in and make you feel small to make themselves feel better? What the hell? Okay, come on. Give me some more. Give them money. This person may need some type of help, financial assistance here. They want your energy. They see you in this high vibe, good chemistry eating. You vibe like good chemistry eating. What? Good chemistry. Why say eating? Maybe they watching you eat. I don't know. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. But they are into you. Good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. Like you live in this positive life. Like you're happy. You're in this love energy. I say, look at this card. It's in pink type of energy, right? Pink is that energy of love. You know what I'm saying? The energy of positivity, refreshing, relaxing here. But somebody is coming in with this. Why this giving money card? What is this giving money card about? Grudge holder. So somebody mad because you won't give them no money? Whoever it is, they got a bad reputation here. They could be in a lot of drama. That girl fights here, their ego is huge. They may like drama. They may like people fighting over them or like arguing with them. Okay, or arguing over them. They they could have a bad reputation. Like, eh. like they could be like a drama type of star. Somebody loves drama. Somebody loves conflict. Look what popped out. Love triangle. Hold on. Told you. This person, they, they love attention. This is that low vibrational shit right here. They love attention. They love putting people in competition with another person. Fake flexing. Well, this thing ain't about nothing. They don't do nothing but waste people's time. Third party, multiple lovers, choices. This person could have a whole bunch of lovers. A whole bunch of people fighting for them, wanting them, okay? They could be putting, they could have put you in a third party situation. They got their other person in a third party situation. Like, this person is just toxic. They couldn't depend on one person and only be with one person if they like depending on it. Let's see. What car is that? Hold on now. Groupie. I told you this person likes attention. Fishing for comments. They may be trying to find out what you got going on too here with this fishing for comments here. But this person, they love attention. They love to have people like around them all the time. Like they, they, they may not like being by themselves. It's like they always have to have somebody around. Or have somebody like reaching for them, coming for them. Let's. Why do the cards keep falling? Apparently, they ain't worth shit if they keep falling on the floor. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, wasting time, stuck, no changes, limited. This person ain't got nothing change going on in their life. They they just wasting time. Like they just every day they live, they just wasting their life away. They're not doing anything. They're doing the same old shit, just a different day. Out here playing games with people. Being non-committal, uh, attracting groupies, whoever get them attention, they ready to hop on it. You know what I'm saying? They ready to stick their dick in vagina, allowing their vagina to be laid up against anybody here. Fake flex. They could be having money problems, so they out here flexing like they rich, like they flossy. Okay, yeah, you might get on some nice name brand clothes and stuff like that, but how much is in your checking account? Because uh, I bet you're sitting at $20. <laughs> And not that there's nothing wrong with that, but you can't be out here like you a big baller and you ain't got nothing to back it up, you know? I mean, you at least better have a rainy day for it. I'm just saying. Fed up. You may be tired of this person, low IQ, or this person may be tired of living this low vibrational lifestyle here. Maybe they realize they're not getting nowhere. Bankrupt. Yeah, because it's not doing them, but robbing them. They may want to come back to you. Moving on. Thank you. Next is in reverse. 
they may want to come back to you here because they realize that ain't nothing out there. They in the world and everything, everything that that glitter ain't gold. They're, they're tired. They're tired of being broke. They're tired of feeling like they don't have enough. This person could be having money problems. Like this, okay. That may be why they mad at you because the grudge holder was clarifying giving money. Maybe they need some money and they know they can't come back to you, but they're going to try. They're going to try to come in and manipulate you. That's the thing. Yeah, Queen Rising, because again, you in the spotlight. You got your own shit coming. You got your own shit going on here. Some of you, this is a family member. I've just seen family issues. So some of you, this is a family member. Could be like a brother, sister. Others of you, this could be like a lover. Okay. But this doesn't have to necessarily be like a lover, y'all. This could be like a family member, brother, a sister. Somebody that is very codependent. Okay. Somebody that may act like a child, maybe childish. Like they just, they don't do anything. They lost their chance or you did. Excuse me. I feel like you not gave up on this person. Talking shit. They could have talked shit about you. You know what I'm saying? They could have been running off at the mouth to other people about you. That word could have got back. Yeah, rejected. But I feel like you're rejecting them or they rejected you. One, something happened here. They could be haunted. If they did reject you, they're haunted by rejecting you or not uh, accepting you or leaving you behind here. Some of you, if you did reject them, you think about all the bad shit that they did. That shit comes back around. Idol, look. But your love, respected, admired, creativity. They just want to come feed off of your energy. They see you in the limelight. They see you doing things. They see you like bossing up. Because again, you got that big dick energy. So they see you doing stuff. Got stuff going for you here. But they want to come in and like milk off of you. Ride your coattail. Why do we always get these types of readings? And it's what's the tea reading? This person is like an energy vampire. Hmm. What else is going on with Scorpio? Legal issues. They could be dealing with legal issues here. Okay. Could could have to do with family or children. You got family issues and children's services there. Could have to do with family and children of some sort. It could be like, yeah, oh, child neglect and low IQ. This person could like not be a too good of a parent. Like they may abandon their parent, uh, children. Same shit, different day. I just said that earlier. This person's on the same shit. They may be the type of person like, oh, I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better. And then they end up not doing anything. They still on the same low vibrational stuff out there chasing women or chasing men instead of spending time with their kids because it says bad parenting, scared of and hates parents, etc. Now, this person could have either been neglected as a child and like that's why they're in this type of energy and they need to heal again. The inner child and the healing card came out or this person is like they neglect their children. And they just kind of run off and go do whatever they want to instead of like focusing on their kids. Now they got some legal issues going on, whether it's child support or like maybe I hope nobody's taking their children away. But like, you know, I mean, if they, I don't know. Okay. Like, I mean, I hope they're not going into the system, that type of energy. I hope they're going to like a safe home, like a family member's home that's safe, that they love them, that they take care of them. But I'm seeing like this person, they're just very low vibration. They don't know how to love. Like when you're in that low IQ type of energy, like that low vibrational energy, you don't really know how to love because you're focusing on the three dimensional things like the drinking, the partying, the the uh, going to the club type of energy. Look, marrying for money is coming out. Be careful of this person if they do try to come back. I feel like they're only coming back because they need some type of financial help or some type of financial assistance. They may try to manipulate you, photo proof, getting evidence here. They may have some type of evidence that um, some of you, the, the court already got evidence of what they're doing. But some of you, like, you may find some type of evidence that this person is using you for money or they're using somebody for money. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm about to get off of this. <laughs> Give me a couple of more cards here. These messages are crazy. Anything else Scorpio needs to know with this Kipper deck for this West of T reading? You got adjudication. Yeah, somebody got some type of court going on. Some something to do with the court, something to do with the legal system here. Somebody been somebody's money. Okay. So, somebody that works a lot, their money about to get took by the court. They owe the court. Okay. <laughs> Sudden wealth, toil and labor, child. It has to do with like children, like child support, maybe insurance or something like that. My goodness. Unexpected income and official person, yeah, and courthouse, yeah. Some this has to do with like children. Somebody about that. Well, whoever about to get the child support is because they need it. The other parent isn't doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, what else? 
Ooh, yep, concern and great fortune and that concerns the shit out of somebody. Some some of you like you're going through a divorce here, the marriage, the change card, or you're leaving a connection here with somebody, whether it's divorce or something like that. But it could have something to do with the courts where like there's a separation, alimony, child support, that type of energy. And somebody's really freaking out because they realize that they're about to lose a whole bunch of money. They're about to lose a whole bunch of stability too. Hmm. Give me more. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? Yeah, somebody coming out on top though, mature woman and privileged lady. You like, nah, baby, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Occupation, the gift. Some of you, this is a blessing. Like you've been waiting on this to finally come in and like you're finally able to break free. You're finally able to afford things now because it's been hard times. You're like, yeah, because some of you have been, been concerned. Message of concern, toil and labor. Like some of you have been having to work like extra jobs just to have the money and it's finally coming in. Sudden well, so this is good for you. Like, you've been working extra jobs to make ends meet. Like, this money's finally coming in. That's good. Because I don't mean no harm. It's hard to raise kids by yourself. It is. It is. Okay? I got two of my own that I raised by myself. I mean, their dad gets them every other weekend. But and hopefully he'll get them next month for the summer. But it's hard. People don't realize it's hard. Woo! It's a job. Okay. But I think I'm going to leave it there, y'all. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I hope this helps out, y'all. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.